Peter, what were your expectations before coming down to Halls Gap in Victoria about what would happen at the Mibben Bar training camp? Uh, my expectations was that I hope we'd do something really unique, and I think we have. I think we've, we've bonded really well. I've, I've been to a couple of men's, men's meetings before and, uh, and conferences, and it just seemed like rhetoric. But we've, we've really struck a chord with everybody. Some of the stuff that you've uh, learned here this week, what are some of the things that you will take back and um, be able to um, educate the community with? The main thing is the personal thing. You know, you know, I've always been an extrovert within mainstream, but when you come around your own mob, you, you seem to shelter yourself. When, when, when you're in your own community, you know, talk about it. A couple of highlights um, from the week for you personally. Personally, um, sharing the knowledge, sharing, sharing my knowledge and, and gaining knowledge, you know, and, yeah, and, and listening to the common stories, the, thought, the things that I thought were only within me, you know, are in every man. Fantastic. So that transfer of knowledge um, plays a pl plays a bit really important part here this week. Oh yeah, always. You know, you know, I've always stated, you know, that knowledge is to be shared, not kept or sold or bought. Yeah. By sharing of knowledge, we we learn a little bit more about each each other, ourselves, and each other. It's not a new concept either. I mean, our people have been doing it for you know sixty thousand years, haven't they? So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but maybe because of the fracture of our culture that we, you know, we, we, we tend to keep things to ourselves now, you know, instead of seeking out the assistance of each other and sharing. Now, um, are there some ways that we can um, actually improve on, improve, on, improve on what we're doing for our next camp, which is probably going to be held um, next April or May? Well, uh, Aboriginal content. Of, of, of the things that we're educating people on. It should be paramount. You know, it's good to have all these other services come in and, and we learn the basics of them, but it's like we're validating our knowledge on, on depression, on, on men's lines and things like that, you know. And so the more we push for, for our own self-delivery in keeping, keeping the same theme about, about depression, the more men we empower, the more we can say, yes, they're an ambassador. They're an ambassador, they're a speaker. Otherwise, it's great. For future gatherings, um, you'd like to be part of the future Mibben Bar gatherings? Oh, obviously, but you know, I'd also like to branch out as well and keep in the philosophies of Mibber Bar, you know, and, and involving Mibber Bar, you know, so it's, a, it's, an, it's an opportunity to create satellites out of Mibber Bar. Look at the people who we have who are sitting around with us today, you know. You know? They, they know exactly what, what's needed within our community. Um, short statement on um, your experience with um, Mibben Bar at Halls Gap. As an educator and as, as an oralist, you know, it's, it's good to hear that, you know, the knowledge that people have brought to Halls Gap, you know, and shared that knowledge, you know, it's, it's great, you know, and, that's, and it's something that's entrenched in Aboriginal men and Aboriginal people, you know, and... and should never see. Thank you, Peter Pierce, for your time.